this is what we want to build. We want to have our logo, our navigation, a call to action button over here, and a search widget, and obviously show our social media handles over here that someone can go over there and connect with us. Back into our customizer, our header is already having the logo and the primary navigation. So under the logo settings, we can say we want to add, you know, an already made logo, like an image or something. But in this case, I'm not using, you know, a pre-made logo. I'm using the text as our logo or the site name as our logo. All right. So over here, I'll just select logo and title. I'll exit our site identity. And now we come back over right here. So there are some things I want to explain to you when you're building up your header with a Kdance theme. The number one thing is that you have three layers of the header. You have the above header, the main header, and then also the below header. And this is where the, the above header is, which is the top row. And then you have the main row, which is the main header, and then also the bottom row. Now, it means that you can add different widgets to those different layers or rows for your uh, header with the cadence theme. But in our case, we are only going to be using the main row over right here. So what do we need in our header besides the logo and the primary navigation? When you look over here in our pre-made site, you realize that we have our logo here. We have our primary navigation. We have a button and a search widget plus social icons. So it means that we have to add two more. We actually have to add three more widgets. The, this call to action button and this search widget and also the social media icons. So coming back over here to our customizer, we're going to add one, a button. So I'll just drag this over here. Then I'm going to add another and that is going to be our search widget. We'll position it later where it's actually supposed to be. Then we are going to add our social icon. So the social icons should show up somewhere here. Now you realize that we have our logo, our button, our social media icons, and our primary navigation. Now, how do we position them to be in the right place where we want them? So you can simply just come over here, click on that widget, and drag it to where you want it to be. Okay, so somewhere here. Then we can as well drag our button because we want it to be next to our primary navigation, something like that. Our search widget here and also our social media widget showing up over here. Now it looks a little bit more familiar. Before we make any other changes, I want to mention that you realize that our navigation is kind of hidden simply because the primary color of our initial color for the primary navigation is white and our background is white. That means that our navigation cannot, you know, appear over right here. So what we are going to do is we are going to change the background color of our main row over here by selecting the main row here and then come over here to design and we are going to change the main row background. So when I select this over here, I'll just select our gray here to actually apply as our background color for our header. Then I'm going to come over here to our logo and the same thing I'm going to do is to change the color of our logo or the site title in this case. So I'll come over here and then select my logo and I'll be taken straight to the site identity, come over here to design and I'm going to change the site title hover and active colors. So in this case, I'm going to change this to white and as well for the hover color to white. And that's how it will look like. We are going to make changes to the active and the initial colors of our primary navigation by selecting the widget over here, and then come over here to the navigation. Active color is going to change to this color. And then on hover, it's actually going to change to our orange. So when I come back over here, I check, let me see, hover is that, active is that, and normal is this. So when I come over here, I hover, I hover, I hover. All right, so this looks good. Let's come here, select our button. Now we're going to change the button label, travel hacking training. And under design, come down below here on the border radius and we'll give it a 20 to just have this kind of rounded borders. Lastly, we are going to make some changes to our search widget and as well as our social media icons over here. First of all, just going to click over here and change the hover color. So the search, the initial color is white and the hover color, I'm changing this to our 
pink so come over here select our social media widgets and we are going to first of all come here to design and we're going to choose outline the initial color is actually going to be our orange and on hover it's going to turn to actually pink uh, looks good so anyway i'm going to simply publish the other thing i have to talk about is that we can increase or decrease the height of our header over here you do that by selecting the main row and it takes you straight to the main row settings in the customizer and you can set that to be maybe a 50 or 100 but i prefer to leave it at 80. So under our footer section, by clicking over here on the footer, we are going to create a footer and our footer should look something just like this over here with a number of widgets. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 widgets. So our footer is going to be using the middle row and it's going to be a four column footer. So how do you do that? By coming over here to columns and select the number of columns that you want and that's how it will look like over right here that is for only the middle row then what we are going to simply do is come back here to our widgets area and we can start adding our widgets to our footer in this case we're going to add widget number one here and then widget two widget three and then widget four and then you will also realize that our footer has a below footer section that has our copyright information and as well as a navigation, which is the footer menu. So what I'm going to do is simply come back here to my customizer and I'm going to take advantage of this row over here, which is the below footer. So I'll select it and I'll select two columns here and then come back here to our widgets area and I'll add my navigation or footer navigation to the extreme column when i come over here to the copyright information i can add content to this section for example in this case we said uh, copyright 2021 our travels so what i'm going to do is simply come over here and then i'm going to leave copyright which is the copyright symbol 2021 our travel so i'm going to delete the rest which are the theme credits so when i delete that you see what we have currently. Then the other thing I'm going to do is you realize that actually our text here is not in that color of black. So I'm going to come over here. So under design here, I'm going to come and choose the font color and this is going to be our other gray color. You see now it has totally switched. Come back here to our footer navigation widget and we are going to as well click over here in the settings and come to general and we have to select our footer and in this case it's already showing up over here and to be honest our footer navigation is not actually supposed to be this what i created earlier it is supposed to be a different one and it's supposed to be the sitemap references and about what am i going to do i'm going to come back here to my customizer i'm going to click here on the footer navigation and i'm going to come over here to select menu and I'll come over here to edit the menu and over here I'm going to drop what I don't need from this menu. I'm going to drop this, this as well, this as well, this as well. So I'm going to say add items, I'm going to add the about, then I'm going to create a custom one and that is going to be a custom link and this is going to actually be references once you create your references page you can simply link it up over here using the url like i earlier showed you and then here we're going to add another which is for the sitemap so we will add the sitemap custom link and then we add it as well to the menu so now we have our footer navigation here so we start with the sitemap then we end with the about Right, so I'm going to simply just say publish. So we are going to now come back over here to our footer and then we are going to click over here on our navigation and it should be showing up over here, you see? Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply just, first of all, align the content to the right align and I'm going to make it to be in the middle of the row. That is the vertical alignment. So under design, 
I am going to come over here and select the navigation colors. The initial color is going to be our gray. That's why now it can show up. Change the font size over here. So in this case, I'm going to change generally our base font size from 17 to 14 because that is going to save me the headache of having to actually be changing the base font size. So what I'm going to do is come back here to our customizer Come over here to the general settings, come to typography, and I'm going to change the base font size to, to be 14. So you see it automatically changes all over the side. So far so good. So I'm simply going to publish over here. Then what I'm going to do is now to work on our middle row for our footer. So I'll come back here to our footer settings, and I'm going to select the first widget, add a block, and this is going to be a heading. So our first heading is going to be, come here to customize. So I'm going to say, I'll travel, add space. Then I'll add my paragraph, which will be having our content. The same I'm going to do for the other widget. So I'll add a heading about me. Then a paragraph. So this is actually a list, a list item by adding a list over here from Gutenberg. The other widget, I'm going to add the content, the heading, travel hacking, and then the paragraph, add our list by simply searching over here, list, and then you can add your list items. So one by one, travel like a pro, enter, then you add another list item. So I'll add all my list items. Then the very last one is the contact information. I'll select that widget here, come over here, add my heading, contact information. Add my paragraph, then I'll add my contact information. This is all dummy content, so it's not my real address, nor even the phone contacts. So anyway, I'm going to publish this. I'll come over here to add our background image for our, for our footer or our footer area. I'll select our footer, and I'm going to come over here to the footer background. I'll select a footer background, and I'm going to use an image, and here I'm going to select the image I'll upload the image. Make sure you don't forget to add the alternative text because this helps screen readers as well as the search engine to understand your content. So over here, I'm going to choose the image. And voila, there we go. So I'm going to come over here to our image and then I'm going to make it to be actually cover and it's going to be a fixed image. Now come back here to our middle row and we are going to give our middle row background color. It's actually going to be our off-white color and I'm going to give it a tint, something like that, whereby the background is visible but as well as the words are readable. All right, so something like that. The same I'm going to do for our below foot. So come over here to design and I'm going to select the bottom row background I'll give it our off-white color and reduce the opacity. All right, so what I'm going to do now is to simply publish. So anyway, when I come back here to our site, I'm going to reload. So we have a preview of our site looks like. Voila, looks like we are actually progressing well. Site title, navigation, the button or call to action, the search widget over here, and as well as our social media icons. The same for our footer, all looks good. All right, for now, I'll exit our customizer settings and then we'll go straight into our Elementor page builder so we can start creating content for our homepage. Then later on, I'll come back to the heading settings or to the header settings and show you how we can create a transparent header for our already created pages using Elementor so they appear just slick as you see over right here. So see you in the next section.